Right, Gary, obviously we were here last season, um, came to see your company back to basics. What was different about today than what we saw last year? Today's been different because we've um, got a partnership with Cal Sonic, which is part of Nissan. We're running a four-day event, summer camp, um, and it's a, a thank you to all the employees from Cal Sonic, uh, obviously of the hard work they've done, um, to the families, and they've been, invited all the families down, the children, to take part in different activities today. We work every week really, we do a couple of night sessions, but we're also very active in partnership with Dyke House um, Sports Academy. Um, we've got um, a couple of diploma courses which is going to be running from Middlesbrough Sports Village, which is going to start in September as well for 16 to 18 year olds in regards of apprenticeships. Mm. We are quite busy. Now obviously I've got ex Sunderland and Middlesbrough player here. Can't let you go without talking about the tease we are Derby. Your views on Sunderland first of all? Uh, I mean, the first 45s were a bit slow, the way they play. I think Middlesbrough was better, moving the ball quicker. Second half, Sunderland uh, got the first goal, and after that, I saw they, they were on top of Middlesbrough for 20, 25 minutes. They put pressure on them, and they should score another goal. Uh, unluckily, they didn't, and obviously Middlesbrough ended up taking the three points. First home game against Middlesbrough, especially the first half, was disappointing. Um, but credit, um, you know, the buckle down in the second half. Um, we got the goal. Maybe another day we might have got the equaliser. Um, and again, you've got to look at the players which are involved on on Sunday as well. You know, there's only three players which remained from last season what was what played on Sunday. So there's been big changes. Um, there's been one or two, shall we say, problems which um, David Moyes and the and the football club has had to deal with. But we've still got to battle on. David Moyes' comments over the weekend about it being a relegation battle and we should expect that? Well, I think it's a truthful um, comment, to be truthful. You know, if you look back over the four or five years, we have been involved in a relegation battle. And, um, you know, you look at the, the result on Sunday, you know, you look at the three teams which come up, you know, all three of them won. You know, OK, they've got the momentum. They usually um, start on a high. But, um, you know, from a Sunderland's point of view, you know, you, you'd be expecting to get something against the likes of Middlesbrough because, you know, you, you don't think you're going to get anything when, you, when you're going to play the likes of your Chelsea's, your Arsenal's, your Manchester United. So, you know, we've got to... The quicker we can get points on the board, then, you know, it's going to be better for Sunderland. You know, hopefully confidence is going to grow. But I think what we need to do, we need to get, you know, two or three faces in. It's going to be hard. I think, you know, from Middlesbrough's point of view, they know that the Premier League, I think what they want to do is survive. You know, from Sunderland's point of view, you know, everyone's thinking that we should be finishing mid-table. But um, I think first and first of all, what we've got to do is get players in. We've got to try to get a settled back four, a settled team, and hopefully we can go on from there. Mia Bruce just came up from the Championship, but uh, they, signed, they signed some good players and some, some experienced players. They look like you got a big squad in there, and that's what I think Sander at the moment is missing, you know. And yes, uh, I think the, the, the two teams should stay up this season. There you go, guys. You've heard it from two who should know. Both Middlesbrough and Sunderland are going to stay up.